Here's the scenario. You've got a messy background, haven't finished setting up your set yet, or you're just looking to take full advantage of the power of visual effects. You need a green screen, and I'm here to show you how to get one working with OBS Studio. I'll go over physically setting up the green screen, how to use it in OBS, and how to add it to Restream Studio. So let's get right into it. To get started, you'll first want to set up your green screen. If you have already done this, you can use YouTube's new chapter select feature to jump straight to the OBS setup. Now, the actual color of your green screen doesn't matter. As long as the background is a solid color and different enough from what you're wearing and your skin tone, it'll work with chroma keying. The main two types of chroma keying we see are usually solid blue or solid green screens. With this in mind, I suggest if you're in the market for a new backdrop and you're not sure what color will suit you best, Pick up one of these guys from newer. These backdrops can be easily folded for quick storage and reversed for access to solid blue or green. Once you've settled on the color that works best for you, it's time to move on to lighting. We want to ensure that there aren't any hot spots on the screen or dark spots. Even lighting across the surface of the green screen will provide the optimal chroma keying effect. Make sure to stand in front of your green screen to see if you're casting any shadows on the backdrop. If you are, try stepping forward or moving the backdrop back a bit. If that doesn't work, try moving your key lights up so they're pointed at the ceiling. This way the light will be softer and cast softer shadows. Now that our green screen is set up, it's time to jump right into OBS Studio. Here we are. To get this green screen behind me keyed out, or remove it, we're going to go and need to do the following things. First, we want to add a filter to the camera we are using. And we can do that by right clicking our source down below. Now, you'll want to click Filters. In the menu that opens, we can see there are two different options for filters, audio, video, and effects. So let's select the plus icon at the bottom of the effects area and choose chroma key. Instantly, you're gonna see a preview of the camera with its new default settings applied. If you're using a blue screen, then you can go ahead and click blue from this color selector. Otherwise, play with these settings below, in my case, specifically the spill reduction, until your chroma key is looking good. Finally, click apply and close out of this window. As you can see, we have our green screen set up, but there's still quite a lot of the frame that isn't green screen showing. We can fix that by clicking our camera so this red box appears around it, then holding Alt and dragging it in. Doing so will start to crop the video. Do this on all four sides until you've cropped out the entire non-chroma keyed background. Now you can put anything you want behind you, from a video to a photo or even a live screen share. All you have to do is make sure that it's below your camera in the source area so that it appears behind you. OBS also enables you to adjust where you are in the frame and the size you appear. Now that you have your green screen set up in OBS Studio, it's time to bring that into Restream Studio. You can do that by using the new virtual camera included in OBS Studio. Click Start Virtual Camera on the right side of OBS Studio, then head into Restream Studio and select the gear icon from the bottom. From the menu that pops up, you'll be able to choose OBS Studio as your new webcam source. And there you have it. You've got a green screen working in Restream Studio where you can brand your stream and highlight viewer comments. If you've stuck around this long, that probably means you like this video and you should go ahead and do that now. While you're down there, make sure to open up the description and click our sign up link for an exclusive Restream deal only for our YouTube audience. As always, I've been Randy from Restream, and have yourself an excellent stream.